I have carved a dome ring and I'm here to show you how I tidy the surface of my waxes prior to sending them out for casting into metal. I have two tools on standby here. Uh, one is the budget dental carver. It has a spear shaped head. It's not too sharp on one edge, but it's sharp enough to get the job done. Uh, if you have uh, the budget for it, grab yourself some woof tools. This is the macro carver number three. I love using this. This is my go-to for smoothing all of my surfaces. Okay, so what I will do is I will do one half of the ring with the dental carver. You can find these pretty much anywhere, most jewelry supply stores and on eBay as well. I shouldn't say that too loud, but all I'm doing here is I'm taking the carver and I've positioned it at a 45 degree angle relative to the surface of the wax and I am swiping away. I'm taking off little slivers of wax until all of those previous file marks start to disappear. Now, it might be a bit tricky for you to see on camera, but I will do half of the dome. This is all in real time. This isn't sped up. You just have to have swift, swift movements. I'll just flick it the other way. So I'm just working the top as we speak. Now these carvers, uh, the ones that are found commonly in dental kits, can be quite blunt. If you ever do need to sharpen them, you can grab yourself a diamond block, uh, similar to when you sharpen uh, a kitchen utensil. So I'll hold that up for you now. Okay, so this is the side to the left that I just filed, and the other side is the section that I have not filed. You can see it's nice and smooth. But what I will do is I'll just show you the difference with the Kate Wolf Wax Precision Carver. So super duper sharp. You just have to make sure you get the correct angle, otherwise you end up putting notches and divots into your work and you'll be pretty sad about that. So the whole idea is to just get out as many file marks and scratches as you desire before you send your ring to casting. And the last thing I do, this is very rough, I've only got three minutes. The last thing I do is I take some 600 emery and I'm basically cross filing around the ring to smooth that all over. So you'll see I'm actually working in different directions. I'm going side to side and then